Ponziani opening, Janus, Brayer opening. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. It is excellent. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This defends the attacked pawn. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. This protects the attacked pawn. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. A solid choice. It is excellent. This misses a chance to attach a knight to the king. It is incorrect. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This move prevents the opponent from castling, impeding their advancement. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This allows the opponent to capture the checking knight. It is a mistake. Backs off. It is ideal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This strikes the rival queen. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This misses a chance to concentrate a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This takes down a weak bishop. It is ideal. Takes back. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is best. This loses a knight. It is a blunder. This exposes an attack threatening a bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. That knight will get material if captured. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is quite good. Recaptures, from a previous move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. 
This wins a tempo on a queen while while developing a piece. It is ideal. This overlooks a better way to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is a mistake. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. By elevating it to the seventh rank, this poses a threat of activating a rook. It is incorrect. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a miss. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This defends the attacked rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to block a check from the opposing queen. This permits the opponent to threaten checkmate. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to threaten checkmate. It is a mistake. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This evades the check from the queen. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This creates a threat to win a pawn. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had a nice end game.